Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today's question comes from Dave, AD5HQ. Okay, he's been studying antennas lately and something has occurred to me that's confusing. Now, let me show you what is confusing to people. If you take a half wave dipole, this is a half of a wave. So if you take the first half of the uh, cycle, the cycle will continue down this way, and we'll call this the current because that's what it is. Okay, and then you put something that comes sort of like um, this, which is the voltage, and they're 90 degrees apart. Now, if they're 90 degrees apart, there will be no radiation. Okay, because when you have a voltage and current 180 degree, or 90 degrees out, okay, when they're 90 degrees out, no real power is consumed in a system like that, okay? It accepts it, it gives it back. The SWR on such an antenna would be infinity. So, we usually look more like this. Here's our, our current curve, okay? The current is maximum in a dipole at the center point right here. And then we do up here the voltage. The voltage is highest at the ends and, uh, and the highest at the ends and it's at its lowest point in here. Now the impedance at any given point on here, so I'll say the impedance at a point is going to be the voltage at the point, not peak, but at the point, divided by the current at the point. Okay, so like point here. This is the impedance. Now, you can radiate power over this impedance. This impedance goes down, is the lowest in the middle and the highest at the ends, where it is in theory infinity, but in practice it's maybe two to three kilo ohms, 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 okay? Now, remember that power equals the voltage times the current. So you have here a, um, it's gonna be a positive voltage. Now these are RF voltages, they're RF. They're like being measured with an RF watt meter an AC, more generally an AC watt meter. And you've got non-zero voltage times non-zero current. And you'll find that the power to being radiated by the antenna is somewhere in the middle here. And all along the antenna, there is this uh, ratio that's greater than zero. Therefore, the power is going to be a positive times a positive and is going to be positive all the way through that. And so power is radiated uh, from the antenna. <clears throat> the way that actually works, if this is a section of antenna, every point on the antenna, uh, you know, and they're infinite number, but what they do, each one radiates well, let's take a, a simpler way to look at it. We've got current going back and forth in here in the antenna. That's going to create around it a magnetic field. Okay, and as the thing goes back and forth, you get this magnetic field. And anytime you have a magnetic field, a changing magnetic field induces a changing uh, uh, electric field, which would be, you know, circles like this and so on. And you end up creating this out here and they radiate away from the antenna at the speed of light, C, in uh, atmosphere, which is almost the same as C. Okay, they radiate away from the antenna in, in all directions. 
each tiny little point here acts as a radiator. So it's like you throw a pebble in the water and you see the um, circles get larger and larger and larger and eventually you get a wave front, okay, moving away from the antenna at the speed of light. So the answer is uh, you need to avoid confusing the actual wave form. This is a sine wave at the speed of light, C, okay, and the wavelength from peak to peak or valley to valley or uh, positive going zero crossing to positive growing zero crossing, whatever. It's usually the latter is the standard definition. And, um, but if you were to put an RF voltmeter on this, you would simply see a voltage at whatever frequency that is. Okay, and that voltage is always positive regardless of whether this is negative or not. Okay, so distinguish between a real-time sine wave and a uh, real-time RF voltage, that's AC uh, voltage with reference to, uh, to ground. Okay, all right, that's very important to do that because if you... And most hams tend to think in terms of pictures of sine waves and stuff like that. And you've got it kind of, this is great for circuit theory, but set it behind you when you're looking at things in an electromagnetic field. The intensity of an electromagnetic field is um, measured in volts per meter divided by current per meter or volts over current. Okay, so it's it's uh, got an impedance. Another way you can look at an antenna, and this is kind of a weird way to look at an antenna, but it is true. Uh, the impedance on the feed line is 50 ohms. And we're going to feed this radiation into outer, into space. The impedance in free space of an electromagnetic field is in volts per meter divided by amps per meter equals, if you can scratch these and you get the voltage over the current, okay, 377 ohms. So you can view an antenna as an impedance matching device between 50 ohms, 377 ohms. That's a very engineering-ish way to look at it. Okay, let's see if we've answered the question here. Okay, um, current leads the voltage by 90 degrees. Actually, no, it, uh, it does not. That's, that's the thing. A lot of the diagrams show that because it's very easy to conceptualize it on that basis. But if the voltage led the current by 90 degrees and it were a purely capacitive load, it would reflect 100% of its power back for an infinite SWR. So therefore, in order for power to be radiated, we have to have a positive RF voltage and a positive RF current all the way uh, along the antenna, which we do. That's RF, AC current, measured as RMS, RMS voltages. Okay, now if you're doing a ratio of RMS to RMS, it's the same as the peak to peak or the peak to peak to the peak to peak, whichever way you want to do it, but uh, it's RMS that we use for that, okay? So the antenna really does radiate. Now, if there is any reactance in the antenna, then definitely you're going to get some reflected uh, stuff back, and it's going to change the SWR that you have. So if you've followed this video this far, I think you're probably pretty interested. Please go ahead and take a moment to subscribe and click like. Also share this with your friends. And go to decastlercom slash reference Take a look for a way that you can help support this channel so that I can bring more videos like this to you. And until we next meet, 73.